Hey everybody, Paul Burry, Family Friendly Gaming, doing a video for Crayola Scoot. I'm playing this on the Xbox One. I'd like to thank all of you all for your likes, your donations, your subscriptions, your family friendly comments. Remember, keep your comments safe for kids, keep your channel safe for advertisers and sponsors. Big shout out. Thank you to our advertisers and sponsors, as well as everyone who's buying copies of my books on Amazon and Kindle, and everyone who's buying the Family Friendly Gaming gear, the hats and t shirts, and all, all of that. Thank you so much. We've been getting the question recently from people, hey, well, we can, what can we do to help family from the gaming? First and foremost, turn on your email notifications so you find out when we have new videos. The second thing you can do is uh, check out that link in the description box. There you go. Okay, so Outright Games gave us a copy of this, um, a code on the Xbox One. And this is my first time playing. I'm a boy. And oh, okay, same color. I guess I can stay there. Guess we'll go with medium. <coughs> and I like need some purple. Alright, so let's go with uh F F G rocks. Ah, I missed the K. All right. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna call F G rocks. We try to play this game in our normal offline account, YouTube recording account. And it wouldn't let us, so I had to come into my account. I don't know why it has to know. It has to be online. Hey, catch. hey, nice catch. Welcome to the world of Scoot. My name is Tegan. And I'm here to officially invite you into the Crayola Color Cup. All the best scooters in this tournament to try and win the, col the Color Cup, and I think you've got a lot of promise. Anyway, we should get training. That scooter is a little gift from me, so how about you ride around a bit and see how it feels. I hope you like it. Way to go. So how about we try some jumping? I just jumped. You have two different types. A small hop or a larger charge jump. Small bunny hops are low jumps which can perform really quickly. While charge jumps allow you to get more air but take a little longer to set up. A quick tip though. Don't hold on to the left stick when you go up a quarter pipe. Otherwise you'll ride over it and not up. Anyway, enough of my job right now. Let's try a few jumps. Oh, I bit it. Oh, it stopped me before I landed. Look at you go like a little jumping bean. The scooter used to be in the cradle cup, color cup. Are pretty darn special. They have an awesome boost feature that will zoom you forward, giving you more speed for jumps and leaving a big trail of your color. How about you boost around for a bit and practice coloring? Yay, it's so pretty. The bar will drain as you boost around, so don't worry. But don't worry, it'll fill back up over time. 
However, if you ride over your own color, your boost bar will fill even quicker. Give it a go now, ride over your own color and see how quickly your bar... Ah. <laughs> nice, how about we get some big air and perform some tricks to start splashing some color. More tricks mean more points and more importantly, more color. Ahem. Anyway, how about you try some spins and flips? Hope you don't get dizzy. Quite the little trickster, aren't you? Spinning and flipping will only get you so far, though. You need to pull off scooter tricks to win the you know, finals or something. I, sorry, I missed the word. I hit A. Use boost, get some big air, and try pulling off a new sim a few simple tricks. You hold the trick, the more you do, you'll do. Just remember, just because of the trick, before you hit the ground, though, or else you'll crash. Good luck. How do you do a tail whip? Oh. Yeah. Oh, in the air. <clears throat> That's loads more advanced tricks. There's loads more advanced tricks to find if you experiment by moving the right stick around in the air. <clears throat> Spinning and tricking around in the air. Like a fancy colorful butterfly isn't the only way to score big points though. You can grind across most edges if you get the right angle and enough speed. Just need to hold the grind button. Easy, right? Some rails may need you to hop up first if you keep but if you keep the grind button held down in the air, you should land on your grind. However, if you grind too slow, you'll fall off, so remember to boost if you start to wobble. Give it a go. Try to grind the rails or the edge of the bowl. Okay. Wow, that's amazing. If you want to really score big though, you're gonna have to you're going to have to combo tricks together. But if you do multiple tricks or grinds, you'll notice your combo multiplier going up, which multiplies the score and of all the tricks in the combo. 
The higher the combo score, the more points you'll get when you finish the combo, as long as you land safely, of course. A neat way of keeping the combo going is by boosting. I'm sure you'll get the hang of it if you play. But for now, how about we try and do a small times three combo? Oh, sweet. You're almost ready for your first event. Just have to teach you one last thing. Color triggers. Coloring the trigger will activate spraying, spider, or rain even more color into the park. All the payoffs, but with minimal effort. Each park will have lots of triggers to play with, but for now, use tricks or boosts to splash color on the trigger in front of you and see what happens. Nope. Instant. Booyah! I love watching those spray colors. Lots of different types in the various parks and they all help you color more. However, there's something which is even better. Wonders. Each park has one wonder and they can really cover the park in splats. The thing you're looking at right now is a control point. When three control points are colored, the wonder will come to life. If you own all three control points yourself, you'll trigger the Mega Mode. If you're riding around and color the three control points, you'll see what wonder will show up. Mort's blimp. Look at all that color. You now know all I know. So use what I've taught you wisely. I reckon I could be looking at the new color cup champ in time. <laughs> Anyways, with all that learning out of the way, let's let me show you around the place. This is the plaza you always start here when you arrive in the world. Everything you need is up here. Shiny Portal is your access to the various events. As you rise up in level, more modes and parks will become available. Just scoot through when you want to play. That's why everyone's here, the color cup. Isn't she pretty? Currently, Neb is the reigning champ, but I reckon you've got a good shot beating him. Here we go. The current standing is only by playing events and beating legends. When they challenge you, will you be able to rise up and be the best? The awesome building is the arcade. If you have friends you want to play with in split screen multiplayer, this is a place to come. Up to four local players can play. Ah, the shop. This is my pride and joy, the Scoot Shack. Run by yours truly. Come visit me if you want to buy new bits for your scooter or new clothing. This is a trick zone. You can go in here, float in the air, learn tricks without fear of falling off. Neat, huh? Feel free to practice in the park whenever you like. Every now and then some of the other riders might come and challenge you when you've earned when you've earned enough earned enough fame. You'll need to beat them all if you want that cup. That's it, time for me to go back to the shop and it looks like a few new events waiting for you through the portal. Good luck and see you around. So three worlds. Crayola Color City. Rooftop. Difficulty easy. If you color all three control points in your own color, the wonders will initiate Mega Mode. Yes. You just taught me that. Yes, okay. So it looks like the tips are what they've already taught me. Alright. Color the park to win. I'm trying to. Can we go now? Please. Thank you. 
Oops. 